guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today and watching this video so first of all i apologize for my bare face i cannot be bothered to put any makeup on today and you guys are just gonna have to deal with it so that's the tea <laughs> So as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be me spot cleaning my one-year-old hamster Ducky's cage. The cage that she is in currently is the Living World Eco Green Habitat. If you want to check out the video from when I upgraded her into this cage, some review videos of this cage as well. If you just want to check out the playlist hamster stuff and uh, you can watch all those videos if you like. <laughs> I do spot clean my hamster once a week and I do like a full big deep clean and like change out all the bedding and clean all the stuff about once a month. The bigger the hamster cage you have the less you need to clean out the entire thing and when I spot clean I only really clean the areas that she pees in which will be her den and her sand. The rest of it is kind of okay she doesn't really pee everywhere she only kind of pees in those places which is very easy for me when cleaning so I just replace the sand, rearrange stuff as well just for that added enrichment for her to like explore and be curious because hamsters are very curious animals let me just take you guys straight through to the hamster spot cleaning <laughs> So first of all what I do is usually just take everything out, you don't have to do this every single time but this time I felt like it because I wanted to give a couple things a bit of a wipe down. Usually I try not to wake her, it's not really advised to wake up hamsters when they're sleeping because they're extremely prone to stress but as I had to clean her den and I was on a bit of a time schedule I didn't have much of a choice this time <laughs> but yeah I wouldn't usually do that. So I just remove her soiled bedding and all her food stash which is usually covered in pee, throw that out and I don't need to replace it as there was already quite a lot of bedding in her cage already so I just mixed it up a little bit, zhuzhed up the bedding and made it nice and fluffy again for her. If anyone wants to know about what chamber box this is, it's from the brand Night Angel. The reason why I bought it was because it doesn't have a bottom, so she's a lot more able to make burrows underneath it. If anyone's looking to get one of these, I will leave a link for it in the description below. And then after having given most things a bit of a wipe down with some pet safe wipes, I just proceed to put everything back in the cage in a different arrangement. is just reptile sand uh, without calcium. I often like to keep the sand bath underneath this ledge just to give her some privacy because hamsters do use sand to bathe with and I think she would feel more comfortable with a bit of privacy. <laughs> I would actually really recommend these cork hides as a really good hamster product. She climbs on it all the time. This one is new and she loves it. One thing I like to do as well is to cover the entrances of the chamber box just so she feels a little bit more private. And then usually once everything is done, I like to sprinkle some hamster safe herbs around just for new smells and textures. I don't have any of this at the moment. I have run out so I need to buy some more. But instead, I just sprinkled around some of her dry food so she can forage as she explores her new cage.
me today thank you guys so much for watching this video please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and yeah i hope to see you guys again in my next video so bye